Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we will discuss the problem C of uh, uh, code torn round one. Okay, so this is a new type of round which is starting in code forces. So yeah, this contest was uh, you can say a very tricky contest and it was uh, uh, not so good for me because I have I have just solved three problems and also make three wrong submissions during the uh, two for the problem number C which we are going to discuss and one for problem number B. So yeah, uh, the contest was not so good for me, but uh, yeah, I learned a lot from the contest and uh, I was trying problem uh, problem number D. I was not able to solve it. I was also not able to pick some you can say improvement in the problem so i left it and uh, now move towards the video part so yeah uh, we will discuss problem number c here so first of all we we'll discuss the problem statement so in this problem it is written, written that you are going with uh, uh, an array of n non negative integers which are a1 a2 up to an fine and you have you, what you can do is you can replace the all the in all the elements of that uh, uh, array with uh, a, ai mod x you can choose a number x which is greater than 2 uh, written equal to 2 and uh, then you can uh, replace all the elements of that uh, with the remainder with the number x fine so you can do this uh, this operation any number of time fine so by doing this what you have to do we have to do you have to say, just determine you don't have to make you have to just determine that if it is possible to make all the elements of the array equal after uh, uh, after making some operations okay so yeah uh, we will discuss this problem you can see that i have done two wrong submissions and uh, yeah there was some uh, cases which i was which i left so i will discuss all the cases okay what was my mistake because of it, i i got two wrong submissions i will discuss everything fine so yeah uh, let's move towards the whiteboard uh, to understand this more clearly okay so first of all we have to understand one thing uh, that uh, for example there is a, this is array okay so uh, case one is case one is that this particular array contains a number one one so if this array is one two five zero six eight okay so we have to observe one thing that we can all only take x is greater than equal to okay so if that particular array contains number zero or number one we cannot change that number we cannot change that number because two or one का किसी से भी करोगे ना कोई भी x लोगे हमेशा वो two or one ही रहेंगे so if in that particular array two and zero both are present then we can't make the uh, elements of the array equal because there is two there is one we can't make two and one equal in any other cases so वो पहले गलत हो जाएगा so if in any any uh, any case one and two both are present then the answer will be no directly no okay now the case number 2 so case number 2 is for example uh, zero is not present only one is present so it is like this okay it is like this so in this case what we have to do is that uh, it is one we we can't change uh, one to an any else number so we we have to change the other number equal to one by taking mod so to change 8 to one we can take 8 mod 7 okay to change 6 to 1 we can take 6 mod uh, <coughs> sorry 5 to change 5 to 1 we can take 5 mod 4 but we have to notice one thing to change we can't change 2 to 1 we can never change 2 to 1 by taking mod because if we take 2 mod 1 it will be 0 and also we cannot take 1 as x because x is greater than equal to 2 so we can't make 2 is equal to 1 so another case if the array contains 1 and 0 both then the answer will be no if the array contains 1 and 2 both then the again the answer will be no fine okay so now next case next case is case number 3 is that uh, the array doesn't contain 1 1 hoga in your array mein For example, the array will be zero, two, five, eight, nine, six, up to whatever. But one is not present. So in all the cases where one is not present, the answer will be yes. Why yes? It is like if this is the array, so we can just sort the array. Then first of all, we will take number nine as x. 
so after doing mod with 9 because 9 is the greatest number it will become 0 2 5 6 8 0 0 because all the other numbers are less than 9 so they will have no effect after mod with 9 then we will take x so it will become 0 2 5 6 0 0, 0. then take 6 then take 5 then, then take 2 so the final error will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 so in all the cases when one is not present we can make all the numbers of the that array equal to 0 by doing multiple operations so in all the cases when one is not present the answer will be yes i hope you understand this okay now uh, move towards let's move towards the next case so next case is uh, case number 4 is so first case so what we have studied, uh, uh, observed till now that if one is not present then answer will be yes if one and zero are present answer will be no if one and two both are present answer will be no now next case zero is not present two is not present only one and rest of the numbers are present now in that case also what we have to check it that if there is one present and there are some numbers for example 5 9 3 8 8 like this these are the numbers present so what we can do is we can't change this one to any else number so we have to change these number into to one so we have to, we have to just check that can we convert these number into one or not so obviously to convert a number to 1 by taking mod there is a very simple operation that if we have to convert 5 to 1 we can just do 5 mod 4 so to convert a number n to 1 we can just like n mod and minus 1 so we can just check that uh, if we can do n n mod and minus 1 then we can convert a number into 1 but there is a problem in this case we can easily do it first of all we will take uh, x is equal to uh, Eight. Then for eight, we can make this nine to one. But there is a problem. By taking x is equal to eight, we are we are doing this nine to one, but we are making this eight to zero. This three will be three, this five will be five, but this eight will become zero. If there is seven, if it is five nine three seven, then we can take easily. We can we can take x is equal to eight. It will become five one three seven. If we take x is equal to six, it will become five one three one. If we take x is equal to four, it will become one one three one. Then x is equal to it will become one 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 one, and the answer is done. All the these are equal. But if a number n is present and n minus one is also present in a particular array, then we can't can't do it. For example, in this case, nine is also present. So to make nine to one, we can we have to take x as n minus one or any factor of n minus one. For example, we can also take uh, x is equal to then also the remainder will be one. But the problem is if n minus one is present already, then we can't take it. Or we can also not take the fact any factor of n minus one because it will make that number zero. अगर हम n को eight लेते हैं यहाँ पे eight लेते हैं तो nine तो one हो जाएगा but eight zero हो जाएगा. चलो four ले लो तब भी nine one हो जाएगा तब भी nine one हो जाएगा but eight zero हो जाएगा. Any factor of n minus one. So we have to just check that if a number n is present, so n minus one should not be present there. These are some four cases we have to observe. So I have just written the code of these all the cases. Let me show you the code. It is a very simple code which I have written. But yeah, after too long some missions. <laughs> yeah, so that was the problem. Uh, this is my code you can see it i have taken a number n then i have input a vector v then if there is only one number present then obviously we can make it equal only one will uh, we will return yes then we will uh, we will use map to check that uh, if one is present if two is present three is present or not so we can just use map that if a number is present or not if map MPP one is zero means if one is not present in the array, and I have told you if M one is not present, my answer always be yes. If one and zero both are present, answer is no. If one is equal equal to n, so this is basically if all the integers are already one, if all the numbers are already equal, then answer will be yes. For example, in the case of uh, one one one, in this case, the answer will be uh, yes. Okay. Now, if one and two both are present, then the answer will be no. We have already discussed. Now, if zero is also not present, two is also not present, but one is present, then we will check for each and every number. If n is present, 
if vi is present so vi minus 1 should not be present means the mpp of vi minus 1 should be zero if the mpp of vi minus 1 is not zero then we will, we will print no otherwise we will print yes this is a simple code which i have written so yeah you can check this uh, code i will share the link okay and uh, also you can uh, watch uh, my video on, on other solutions i will make the video on both the three problems so you can check it and i will also try to make the video on fourth one so thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you and if you haven't done you can comment down or you can also join our telegram to ask your doubt you can also connect with me on linkedin thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you